Good afternoon my YouTube viewers, it's Crystal here. I'm just here this afternoon because I wanted to do another video on a hypothesis test. And this is going to be a non-parametric test. It's going to be the NAN-Whitney U test. And basically this test is a little bit more complicated than the rest of the test. And so I was not sure whether... I wanted to make the video because it is a bit complicated but basically it's a two sample test so we have um, sample one which we use random numbers between 0 and 25 and sample two we use random numbers between 0 and 25 and then after we get our random numbers then what we do is we rank them and so we rank the random numbers and you use the piece of code that is in this uh, spreadsheet to rank the numbers. And then you rank all of the numbers in both of the um, samples. So you rank all the numbers in both of the samples and then that's when you rank your numbers. So then what we do is we're going to, after we rank the numbers, we total, we sum the sample one, and then we sum sample two, and then we talk about, get the number of rows between, uh, for sample one, and the number of rows for sample two as well, which is 15 rows. And now we take the U, which is a test statistic as well. And this is the formula that we're going to use for U, for the test statistic. That's U1, and then we use the formula for U2, which is for sample two. So U1 is for sample one, U2 is for sample two. And then after we've done that, we get our overall U test statistic. Okay, so our overall U test statistic is the minimum of E25 and E26. Now we get our Z test statistic, and this is the formula for the Z test statistic, and then we get our P value, and with our P value, we're going to um, calculate in the, the p-value. It says, because it's a true, it says it's cumulative. If it's false, it's a probability. And if it's true, it's cumulative. So that's our p-value. Um, we define our significance level as being 0 0.05, but you can have it as a 0 0.1 or even a 0 0.5 if you want. And we check our null hypothesis. And with the null hypothesis, if E31, which is the p value, is greater than E33, which is the significant level, then you get the null hypothesis. So um, this is how you do it. And I researched it on the internet on Statology to figure out how to do it. So that's it. So like if the p value is less than 0 0.05, then what you do is you reject the null hypothesis and you have to go with the alternate hypothesis. And so um, it's, it's a little bit more complicated than the rest of the hypothesis test that I've done in the past. But if you're interested in the Mann-Whitney U test, this is it. And um, wish you the best of luck on the Mann-Whitney U test. And I believe that I got it from the Statology website 
if you want to um, try to replicate it. So thank you so much for watching this video on statistics. And if you um, like my video, please like and share and subscribe. And I look forward to communicating with you in the next video. And hopefully I'll be a little bit more knowledgeable of the subject because the Nan Whitney U test is complicated.